What's good, Commanders fans? Quick video here. I do want to make a, a video about another signing that they made today, even if it is a camp body or a guy that probably will not make the roster at all. Um, I, I just want to make a quick video about it. I will probably talk about um, some of the uh, press conferences that were made about um, some of the, the voluntary workouts. Trust Wade spoke to the media. Terry McLaurin spoke to the media. Deron Payne spoke to the media. So I will talk about that. I'm, uh, I'll, I'm gonna try my best to make a video about that later. And then I guess I'll talk a little bit about Brandon Ayuk today. Brandon Ayuk, I highly doubt we trade for him. I highly doubt that happens. I know there's a connection with Sam Fran, with Adam Peters. I know there's a connection with Jaden Daniels, the Arizona State playing with, with Brandon Ayuk. But personally, I don't see that happening. I mean, who knows? You never know. You never know. But um, I, I don't see it happening. I know Stephon Diggs just got traded to the Texans. The Texans are being aggressive now with C.J. Stroud. I want to say the Texans actually got uh, Joe Mixon, if I'm not mistaken, too. Let me uh, look that up real quick because I heard somebody talking about that. Um, let me see if, that, if that's even true. Yeah, the Texans gave Joe Mixon a three-year, $27 million extension. So they're going all in, man. They are. I love to see teams be aggressive and go all in. I love that with a passion. Hate the Eagles, but I loved when they traded for A.J. Brown. They were just aggressive. You got you to gotta love when... A team is ready to go all out and support their young quarterback. That's a, that's what they did with Jalen Hurts, and he improved because he just had great talent around him. You know that C.J. Stroud is really good, so why not help him take that leap, take that sophomore leap with a really good wide receiver, Stephon Diggs. They got Tank Dell, Dell. They got Nico Collins. They got Robert Woods, if I'm not mistaken, still on the roster. So you can get Joe Mixon too. Like they just got to beef up that offensive line. But that's that's a nasty, nasty, nasty uh, weaponry weapon core that he has with Joseph Mixon, Tank Dell, who's quick as a cat, and um, Stephon Diggs, who's just a dog. But he just complains a lot. Uh, Stephon Diggs, I'm a, I'm a, I like him a lot because, you know, he's a local guy. Went to Good Council High School, from the DMV, all that. I remember I was in high school when he was in high school. I remember when I went to uh, DeMatha for a couple of years, I remember they played them all the time. They played them in the championship at the Naval, like, Naval Academy Stadium. Every single year was DeMatha versus Good Council. I remember seeing Stephon Diggs a lot. In high school at the time so um but yeah um getting back to us Brandon Ayuk I don't see it happening it probably take like a second round pick you see it will take like a second round pick and a fifth to get Stephon Diggs so it'll probably be a little bit lesser with Brandon Ayuk maybe a little bit like maybe like a third and a fifth or something like that that's what I would assume for Ayuk we're definitely not gonna give up a first but I see a lot of people making videos about and comments about Brandon Ayuk so it's definitely something interesting and intriguing to talk about but I wouldn't spend too much time on it it's because I just don't see it happening. I, I don't see it happening. But it would be nice to help Jaden Daniels out with Terry, Jahan, and then have uh, Ayuk, or it would be Terry, Ayuk, and then Jahan. Ayuk would be wide receiver number two, or it would be 1A, 1B. But Ayuk puts up numbers just like Terry does. So, I mean, Ayuk, Ayuk, in my opinion, I think he's the number one wide receiver in this league. I think Terry's the number one wide receiver in this league, too. So, it would be awesome to have a guy like that. And Ayuk is... He hasn't really been much of a problem. I mean, I've seen him. This is the first time I've really seen him, comp him complain about, you know, either money or targets. We've seen Stephon Diggs complain a lot with the Vikings. He got traded from there. And then now he's getting traded from the Texans. I remember the um, girl who was like, got recorded. She was like saying that Stephon Diggs is like a problem or something like that. It was a, a reporter. But that's neither high, here nor there. But, um, yeah, we'll see what, what happens with IU. He wants out. He wants to be gone. So I, I say, hey, I mean, if he's available, I think you should make the call. I think you should make the call, but I'm not I'm not banging on the table to bring in a brand on you. That's just my take on it. All right. Um, we do need another receiver, though, because Diami, no, Alameda Zacchaeus is our third option. And that's definitely a downgrade from Curtis Hamlin. It just, Curtis Hamlin is wide receiver number one with the Bills, apparently. He's wide receiver num number one or number two with the Bills currently. All right. Let's talk about the young man that they signed. Uh, defensive line, Haige, Haige, I'm sorry, I'm butchering that. Haige, Haige Chisholm. Taigi Chisholm, last name starts with an N, Nduzu, Nimbuzu. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I mispronounced his name. So not a lot of stats to go off of, of course, because he's from the International Pathway Program, basically similar to Dave Abada when we have when we had him on the roster or in the program. He was an offensive lineman. Now he's a defensive lineman, so he has some positional flex, some versatility there. Uh, he's a guy that started watching football on YouTube, uh, played basketball and soccer over in Nigeria, and uh, you look at some of the videos, he was on a, like, he has his own YouTube channel. He was practicing out there on the dirt, you know, getting it out there, out the mud, getting it out the mud, um, practicing in the dirt, you know. 
uh, on a dirt field, you know, doing off his alignment drills and stuff like that with his buddies and his friends. You know, that's how passionate he was about the game of football. Like he tried to practice and get in practice anywhere he could, anywhere he could get it in. He he would do would practice. So I, I love that. He went to a camp that was led by OCU Manure, who played for the Giants, Super Bowl winning defensive end and uh, perennial pro, pro bowler OCU Manure. Um, in 2021, and he, he played really well at that camp. Then he went to another NFL camp he was invited to in London in late 2021 as well. Uh, performed really well and stood out to uh, scouts and, and uh, uh, GMs and whatnot. Uh, so he was uh, invited and signed to a team. The Cardinals signed him in 2022 as a part of the international pro uh, program pathway as well. Um, that was in 2022. Then the Broncos, he uh, signed with them. He was released on August 14th, but he did... He played in two snaps in a preseason game with the Cardinals. Then he was released. And then 2023, he went back to the program again with the Broncos. He was switched to a defensive lineman. His first preseason game with the team, he posted two tackles. So he did he did put up some numbers, some stat, a couple of stats. And then he was waived on August 29th, 2023, and resigned to the practice squad. He was not signed to a reserve future contract and thus became a free agent at the end of the season. Then he went to the UFL on February 1st, 2024, the San Antonio Brahms. Uh, of the UFL, and then he was waived on February 12, 2024, and that's how he ended up being here. So he's been around. He's been on a couple teams, two teams in the NFL, then one team in the UFL, and then we signed him today on April 3rd. So let's see what he can do here. Um, you know, let's see if he can make the practice squad, born in the year 2000. So he's only 23 years old, six foot seven, 323 pounds. So he's a massive, massive, massive person. He's a big fella for sure. So uh, he will be playing defensive lineman. Like I said, he probably won't take any snaps this year. And, you know, we've done this before with Sammy's Reyes, David Bada, guys like that. So I think that's kind of how it's going to end up. So we'll see if he does take a snap some way. So I want to say F.A. Obata was a part of the IPPP uh, program as well. But, uh, yeah, he's a nose tackle right now. He's a nose tackle. He began watching playing football at the age of 18 after watching the YouTube video of the sport. So very raw, very raw. And uh, a lot to learn about the game for sure, but he's making the transition from offensive alignment to def defensive line. So um, just to critique free agency, I won't critique it all for this move, but yeah, I still want to see a left tackle sign. I still want to see a left tackle drafted. And I want to see a more talented corner, uh, veteran corner, talented corner being signed uh, to the team. And uh, that's the only critiques I really have about free agency so far. All right, you guys, you guys let me know what you guys think. Hello, commanders. Peace.